On July 24th, a peace lecture was held at the Sokogakkai Hiroshima Ikeda Peace Hall. Speaker Sunao Tsuboi, a survivor of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and renowned activist, described the horrific effects of nuclear weapon use. He stated he would not stop working for nuclear abolition until a world free of nuclear weapons is achieved. Following the lecture, the Hiroshima youth members released the results of a survey of attitudes toward nuclear weapons among 2,300 students in the Chugoku region, which includes Hiroshima. This, the 16th such survey, revealed that, for the first time, under half of those interviewed felt that the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki was unacceptable. Overall, however, 69% of respondents still felt that nuclear weapons themselves are unacceptable. On July 30th, Sokagakkai youth from Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and Okinawa gathered for a youth peace summit held at the Sokagakkai Nagasaki Peace Hall. They shared information about their recent peace activities, including carrying out surveys of war awareness. Nobuyuki Asai, chair of the Sokagakkai Youth Peace Conference, announced a peace declaration calling for the 2015 Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty Review Conference to be held in the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in order to impress upon world leaders the realities of the aftermath of nuclear weapon use. The following day, July 31st, Sokogakkai Youth Peace Conference members laid a wreath in memory of the victims of the atomic bombing at a monument in Hypo Center Park. The monument marks the exact place the atomic bomb was detonated on August 9, 1945. They also visited the Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Museum. Guided by local Sokogakkai member and atomic bomb survivor Isao Yoshida, youth members were shown a display of ground untouched since the day of the bombing. At the museum, they also viewed fragments from buildings destroyed by the atomic bomb. Later in the day, the Sokogakkai Nagasaki Youth Peace Forum opened with a music festival. 900 people attended the forum held in the Peace Hall of the Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Museum. People at the forum indicated their support of the peace declaration agreed by the Sokogakkai youth the previous day. Forum speakers included Timur Voloshin, representing the Embassy of the Republic of Belarus in Japan. The Ukraine-Belarus border is just 16 kilometers from the Chernobyl nuclear reactor. Mr. Voloshin explained the challenges Belarus faced following the Chernobyl nuclear disaster in 1986. He emphasized the vital role of young people in creating a world free of nuclear weapons in his speech and in discussion with local activists. The peace forum ended with the presentation of over 57,000 paper cranes from Thailand made by visitors to the SGI Anti-Nuclear Weapons Exhibition from a culture of violence to a culture of peace, transforming the human spirit, shown at 20 venues around the country. Thai people made the cranes to express their wish for peace. The Paper Cranes for Peace initiative was organized by SGI Thailand and the Ministry of Culture of Thailand. The cranes were on display at the Sokogakkai Nagasaki Peace Center prior to the presentation. Nagasaki Mayor Tomihisa Taue received the cranes on behalf of the people of Nagasaki from Mr. Asai and Young Women's Peace and Culture Conference Chair Takako Yamato.